Well, Kim submits, and I haven't spoken a lot about the opiate crisis and opiate tolerance. I actually switched on to a medication that is just basically a, a derivative of an opiate, and it does the same thing, and you still have to take it. Uh, so I'm not totally, uh, well, medication free, but I find that there's less pain, and the you know, any type of uh, Tylenol or it depends on what you take or Advil or whatever works for you. Roboxacet, things, so, you know, try it out. And things, you know, uh, a lot of times it could be so much as um, an anti-inflammatory, which are always, don't forget, very hard on the stomach. So always take them with food. But uh, that's all I have to say. I say that I am doing okay given the type of year and a half I had. Um, given the type of... Uh, I call them acid kickbacks for lack of a better word. No, I didn't really ever do acid. But, um, you know, I just have flashbacks that are very, very horrifying of, of how I was treated uh, in the past year and a half. And uh, so it frightens me. It frightens me that people can be so mean and cruel. And it frightens me that people can just turn the other way. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to check in and tell you that I am still uh, doing the opiate derivative thing slash, well, segue to not, and it's working really, really well. I can't even, uh, actually, I can tell the difference. I feel much better without taking opiates, without taking the lot. I feel much better. Uh, it's a type of methadone, but it's not really, I don't want to get into any, um, names just yet but uh it's really working fine no sweating and intermittently it's really uh life is good in that respect i didn't know what i was missing so continue on it's well worth it and if you want to email me in five minutes ask me what i'm on i'd love to share it with you but it's between you and i thank you very much kiris and mitt saying good 24 hours everybody and god bless you all bonsoir good night